A greater Boston starts with fighting for the people we love. Tomorrow night, amateur boxers hope to help hit cancer with a knockout blow. And WBZ's Brandon Truitt introduces us to a Wellesley man and fundraising force for whom this battle is personal. You know, a lot of people have, have supported me and us in this, and I want to do well, and I want to do well. I want Amanda to be proud. On this night, there are some pregame nerves in the Heller household. There's a big match tomorrow, but this family of five knows how to put up a fight. I have the 15% of breast cancers that um, nobody really wants to get. Amanda is the anchor of this family. At least that's how they describe her. But her last few years have been consumed by a breast cancer diagnosis that led to surgeries and chemotherapy. She's on the ninth month of her current routine. Sometimes she's so, so strong and active and energetic that, I, that we sometimes forget that she's going through this. It was that example that drove Ben to want to do more. Several months ago, he started boxing. Then he got serious about training and raising money for cancer research with Haymakers for Hope. He set a goal of $50,000, but has raised nearly 250000 all of it going to the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. And there are times where I've thought, like, I can't keep doing this. I'm too old. It's just, you know, getting punched in the face isn't for everybody. And um, work harder. You know, Amanda's, Amanda has no, there's no bell for her to go take a minute rest. You know, she's got to fight this whether, whether or not she feels like it. It's uh, heartwarming to hear that and you know he's been my biggest supporter through this um, and uh, with me at every turn. Come Thursday night Ben is going to bring his fight against cancer here to the MGM Music Hall in Fenway. It's where he will step into the ring and face other guys also raising money for cancer research. Win or lose, um, he will be a winner in my mind, uh, but I know he's trained so hard for this. This isn't changing Amanda's journey. Um, it's hopefully going to change the journey of others you know, in the future. Amanda is taking it one day at a time, but moving forward with grace, hope, and gratitude with her family and community by her side. I try to not let this diagnosis hold me back. Brandon Truitt, WBZ News.